Got him. You got him. You got him. Good job. Good job, sweetie. That was stressful. Good morning, guys. Today is the last day of, well, it's the last day of deer season for kids ages 12 to 17. So we call this the youth weekend. So we're gonna have this special weekend after general season ends where they get two extra days to go deer hunting. So so we're gonna try to get Ashlyn her first buck today. So how old are you, kiddo? 12 years old. Mm -hmm. So it's pretty dark back there. So just recently, she, um, the both the girls went to hunter safety this last summertime and we completed the whole booklet, all nine chapters. And did you get 100%? I got 98. 98%. She no, 99, missed, 99. 99? She missed 99, one question? 99, one question. So close. So uh, today we're going to focus a lot on hunter safety, how to properly hold the rifle and always act like it's loaded. Make sure that uh, wherever the deer is, um, that we're not taking shots that... Um, we don't know where the backstop is and just generalized safety things in Oregon There is a law that says whoever uh, a youth hunter whenever a youth hunter is hunting they need to wear hunter's orange So she'll be wearing a hunter's orange hat. What do you got there? Sweet. You can pick those up on our website at born and raised outdoors.com <laughs> <laughs> Just saying so Perfect. <laughs> I spotted a bug. I don't know how big it is yet. I gotta try to find it with the spawn scope. So Steve spotted this buck and then we went and grabbed some stuff and now he's trying to find it again. <laughs> yep. It's the video that I'm gonna put over to explain what's happening. Well guys, we got the rabbit's foot with us today. Better known as Stephen Howard. He said he spotted a buck, which I believe him. <laughs> but all we saw was seven does. He can't relocate the buck. None of us can. So we're uh, circling around to see if maybe he went over the ridge or something. But to be continued. So we walked up here. I spotted the butt of a deer. This is where I've been seeing a couple bucks. It's only like 80 yards, 100 yards. But then the fog moved in, and now when it's clear, I can't find the dang thing.
Is there a clear cut up there? Yeah, it's all this rebrought. Let's grab her. Let's grab a pack. He's why he's just cruising up the road. He just now pop back on the road. Dang it. We were just set up right there. My book's called Sears is by Madeline Miller. It's her second book after Song of Achilles, and it's about Sears. She's a witch, and it's an epic spanning over thousands of years about her life. It's really thousands good. of years? Yeah. What's an epic? She's immortal. It's like a giant. It's like a big book with a whole bunch of history in it, and it's fun to read because like the epic of Gilgamesh. Yeah. And it's fun to read because as you do it, like, they'll mention something and I can remember learning about that in Greek mythology. Mm. Walk. Hey, Trevor. We need the... We need the bone scope. It's a big buck. It's bedded. <laughs> grab the... Grab the... Grab the, um... Spot and scope. Do you have a phone scope? Or have have Shannon bring my backpack. Have Shannon bring my backpack. Okay, and and the spot and scope. It's a good buck, dude. <laughs> I'm like I spotted, so I just spotted a doe. And Jason and I came down, and I found a really good rub on the side of the road, and uh, spotted this doe all by herself. And I just started picking around her. And then boom, I saw his antlers and he's bedded facing away from us and she's just feeding, so. He's like bedded, it's like real tall grass. I can just see his horns. Where's it at, Steve? See its ears? I see the horn. Okay. That's its ear right there. Okay. And there's its nose right here. You're gonna put it right there on its neck. On its neck, okay. Yeah, you see where the crosshairs are on its neck? Is it facing towards us? It's facing left and away from us. It's just going to shh. But I can put it on my face now. Don't put it up here. See his ear right here, the white ear. I see the white, not the ear, but the white. The white is his ear. Okay. And then you're just gonna go down. You're gonna go down right here on his neck. Okay. And you're gonna shoot him right there. Okay. On his neck, right in the middle of the neck. Okay. Yep, I see him now. Okay, now do you see his ears now? Yes. Okay, do you see the black line that runs down the on. 
recorded. I mean. Got him. You got him. Honey. You got him. Good job. Good job, sweetie. That was stressful. Instant. That is a. That's a big buck. I didn't want to tell you, but he's a dandy buck. Good job. Thank you, buddy. Dude, you should smoke that thing. I mean, instant dead. Instant. You could not ask for a cleaner that quick. I mean, that thing didn't even twist. What do you think? That was pretty that great. That is a buck. That is a stud buck. That is a stud. What do you think? Now I'm shaking. Now you're shaking? Now you're excited? You did it. Good job, honey. Thank you. You did really good, sweetie. I'm really proud of you. I mean, that was mm. done. Thank you. Oh, congratulations. Oh. Good girl. I looked down and I was... That was, <laughs> that was cool. That was cool? Uh -huh. <laughs> well, we'd, A lot of practice? We'd gone over, yeah. we'd gone over with her, like, uh, how does she, where does she aim at a deer? And it was always, like, right behind the front shoulder where the crease is. We studied it online in hunter safety. Yeah. And then this one's bedded down, facing away, and all we could see is its neck and head. We hadn't even talked about that, and so I just we had to spend a lot of time. That was the first time I've ever tried to video through a scope, which is hard. And then I was able to show her right where to aim, and you did so good, sweetie. Oh my god, <laughs> that thing is heavy. It's a big buck. <laughs> it's a good buck. <laughs> I thought Steve was gonna get more jack than you were. <laughs> you might have killed a bigger buck than Daddy did. <laughs> There are a few things in life that make me like super nervous. That was one of those things. <laughs> oh my gosh, guys. When you take your a kiddo hunting, it's just a lot of extra stuff. And then when it's your, your kid and it's our first buck ever. And I, I was trying to hold the phone and Ashlyn goes, Daddy, you're shaking. And I was like, I know, honey. <laughs> Can you help steady me? <laughs> I was fired up. But, um, she did amazing. Ashlyn, I'm really proud of you. Really, really proud of you. You did a great job, honey. Um, I'm excited to go down there and have this moment with them. I'm really excited that the whole family's here. Shannon and Taylor's here, and we get to go share it together and get to teach them about kind of what I've been doing all these years and the reasons why. So we're gonna go down there and we're gonna focus on uh, meat care and what we do after uh, we get one down, not just the hunt, but you know, how much goes into it afterwards and how, what it means to us. So, glad you guys can follow along. That is a mature black tail. He's <laughs> I mean, look at that frame. Oh, dude, huge. Beautiful buck, holy crap. <laughs> That's a good one. Yeah. That's yeah, a big fork and horn. <laughs> Look how big he is. Oh, Bobby's just, body's he's huge. tank. <laughs> yep. That's what we want, huh? Look, at he's heavy. I mean, that's a, that's a big fork, big, big heavy, yeah, mature. Look how big he is, honey. <laughs> that's a stud for right here on the coast. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. They don't get much <laughs> bigger than that. Did you bring game bags? Or are you like a brother? <laughs> Oh, did I say that out loud? <laughs> oh, sorry about that. They're actually in the truck. I can smell it. <laughs> <laughs> Putting it up and walking up. It's kind of steep. Just so you know, any of you guys can do this. Um, I'm very grateful that you guys are watching us, um, watching this family hunt. I'd like to thank Steve for spotting the buck. 
It was perfect, just laying down. Um, and my dad for taking me out shooting so this could be possible. Oh, that's deep. Okay guys, so that's a wrap for blacktail season for us. We hope you enjoyed it. If you can, take a friend hunting, take your kiddo hunting. Uh, it's just so rewarding. I wanna thank Steve for coming along. I wanna thank Chase and my family for going through this whole day for this moment. I hope you guys love these things because we love making them for you. We'll see you in the next one. It was a blast.